One of the most common questions that we receive here is, why are the monthly search volumes in SEMrush so much different than what I see in Google Keyword or Google AdWord tool? And the answer is much simpler than you think. Um, but before moving on, it is worth mentioning that search volumes do change on a monthly basis, so the data presented in this video may be a little bit different now depending on when you're viewing this. So with that being said, let's move on. First, we'll use the SEMrush interface. And as an example, we'll use a keyword like Halloween. If we run that keyword through the SEMrush interface, we end up at the keyword summary report, which contains the monthly search volume for the phrase Halloween. As you can see, SEMrush displays a search volume of 246,000. Now, we're going to jump over to Google's interface and run the same query. Pay close attention to local monthly search volume uh, because we're looking for search volumes relative to Google US, just like we were doing in SEMrush, except when you run the keyword query through Google, you're going to arrive at a search volume of 9.1 million. So why is that? Well, if you look off to the left, you'll see that Google offers three variations of keyword data. One of those is broad, the other is exact, and the third one is phrase match. By default, Google is always set to broad match. And what that's going to show you is search volumes not only for the keyword Halloween, but also its related keywords like pumpkin or Halloween masks. So if we toggle on exact match instead of broad match, you'll see that both platforms will sync up 99.999% of the time. And it literally is just that easy. SEMrush and other industry professionals rely on exact match statistics in their keyword research. See, not only is it a great way to gauge how much organic or paid traffic you'll receive from a single keyword, but when you're optimizing an ads campaign, you can accurately compare one keyword to another without the influence of overlapping search volumes between related keywords. Thank you for watching, and this is another SEMrush Pro Tip.